And so your plans always seem to do really well. Do you have any tips? Like what do you do to run this tank? What are the lights and how do you fertilize it and stuff? That carpeted for me with one or two pots in a matter of like a couple of months and I wasn't running any yeah. CO2 on it, just highlight. Really? No CO2? No CO2 initially. I've got one on there now just because it was, I've got all this algae issues. <laughs> so I'm trying to kill that off with a bit of CO2, but it carpeted without it. Which wow. I was impressed by it. Yeah. It was easy. I've just got the camera sitting where all the tanks are. We're gonna just have a quick little look through each of them. I have a tank, yeah, in the bedroom, but it is just a holding tank. Okay. You can look at it, it's we a mess. We can check it out. Yeah. yeah. Since the puppy came, we've tried to just, you'll notice there's not much furniture because <laughs> she was destroying <laughs> everything. So it's oh, kind no. of just an open plan thing uh -huh. at the minute, but fish yeah. room, living room. Yeah, it's like a fish house. Like, yeah. <laughs> the whole house is like yeah. a fish room. I reckon maybe let's start with big, beautiful five foot tank. It used to be a discus tank with the angels as well, but I moved the discus on. They went to my dad and he's just got himself a marketplace cage. But um, yeah, it was just cardinals, just heaps and heaps of cardinals, which I thought looked great. But then shutting down other tanks, all the tetras <laughs> ended up. So it's like just kind of a tetra mishmash jungle with the angels. Um, and other bits and bobs. There's a pair of little apistos in there somewhere that when they come out, when they get fed. It's beautiful. And um, plecos in there that also hide forever. Um, and there's even, you know, I was, it was initially just a South American fish tank, but there ended up being some rasporas sneak their way in. A multi, you know, continental thing now. Oh yeah, I see a pleco. Yeah, there's a pair of albino bristle nerves and a pair of peppermints. I see a peppermint, a big yeah. peppermint. Yeah. The plants in here are beautiful too. Thank you. So what plants do we have in here? Um, there's a lot of crypts. So there's crypts there in the front foreground. I can tell you what they are. I think they might be wentii. Nice brown ones. And then plenty of swords. A mix of swords yes. in the mid, middle there and stem plants. There's, I think, Rotala super red and Woodwigia super red, and then just baby tears. <laughs> um, baby tears? Yeah, I think, I don't know what they're really called, but those sort of long, tall stem plants at the back. Wait, can you carpet baby tears too? Or is that a different type? I don't know. They've always been really leggy for me. Okay. Um, but they look nice. But yeah, there's just heaps of taller crypts up that end and then other swords and some aponogeton, I think Oh, I found the albino. Yeah, <laughs> in their little hidey hole at the, the back. honey around me. <laughs> they breed for me in there, the, the albinos. Um, and I don't do much about it. They don't last long, the babies with those big angels. But the peps have not bred for me in there. Um, so we'll see, they might not be at sexual maturity yet. And there goes a couple of the little, see those little spotty guys? Yeah. They're so cute. They're like little loaches. Yeah, they're little um, dwarf chain loaches. Oh, so cute. They're so cute. There's only a trio in there, but I had a bit of a pest snail issue and they have yes. sorted that out. <laughs> there are no snails. Snails. Yeah. And so your plants always seem to do really well. Do you have any tips? Like what do you do to run this tank? Like what are the lights and how do you fertilize it and stuff? Well, the lights, uh, everything on this tank is pretty much autopilot. Um, it's just pretty mature and settled. So the, the lights are just uh, little bioscape pendants, mm -hmm. not super bright or anything. Um, and there's just, the, all the plants are planted into aqua soil and it's just capped with sand. Right. And so most of the nutrients come from that, I think. Yuck. So it's like built up at the back. Yeah. I don't know if you'd be able oh, yeah. to see it on the side. Yeah, there's, they're in bags, um, black right. mesh bags. Even though it's still, the quarries end up sort of mixing it anyway, bits come through, but. And then I just um, dose it with just Tropica um, specialized nutrition. It's like once every time I water change it, which is probably only once a month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, there's no CO2 or anything. It's just a super low maintenance tank. I'm sure I could probably get better 
growth, especially out of the stem plants. If I was running CO2 and fertilizing it more often, I, I'm happy to let it do its thing because it's easy. You're running a sump on this, hey? Yeah, this has got a really messy sump. Let yeah. Show you. Yeah, let's check it out. And there's other bits and bobs in here just hanging out. It's grubby. It hasn't been cleaned in yep. <laughs> donkey's ears. It looks like pretty big, I think, the volume in the sump. It seems to be, I'd say it's a, well, I know the tank is a custom built tank for the original owner. It's just chock full of uh, biological media more than anything else. Intake in there, it goes through all the biological media, mecha mechanical filtration, some plants, and yeah. <laughs> pump. Are they Back still alive, the those plants in there? Yep, they're kicking. <laughs> they're just pond weed plants, <laughs> horn water, I think, that ended up in there. Yeah, the one thing I love about sumps is if you set up another filter, it's so easy to just like, go in and grab all yeah. the bacteria it's and stuff. It's perfect for new, new setups, yeah. And there's heaps of it. Like, <laughs> I think I'm gonna probably give some to Dad for his discus tank, because I've uh, just got miles of it. If he cleans it, he can take some. Yeah, that's a good deal. <laughs> I reckon. For you. Yeah. <laughs> I think I prefer this scape, if you will, to the previous one I had. I think it makes the room feel bigger. Yeah. Without stuff coming shush above the rim. We can feed them if you want. Yeah, yeah, let's feed them. Yeah. Feed the fishies. Some tropical pellets, I reckon. In this corner here? Yeah. All right, we're gonna feed Maggie's angelfish and tetras. Do you just let it float on top? Or yeah, just try? whack it in. Oh, it kind of gets like pushed down anyway. Yeah, the it, the um the flow kind of does it for it. You can give them some of that bug buffet if you like. That'll oh, yeah, yeah. that'll go everywhere. Okay, I'll do that. So Nick from Keeping Fish Simple, he's created a fish food recently, and it's apparently good for fry as it's, well. Uh, yeah, I, I can imagine so because it is so powdery, or you can crush it to be powdery like this. Yeah. Do I crush it. it too much? No, 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 that's great. It almost chums the water, so fish that you never see come out. All the peppermints actually come out and the sort of elusive quarries that you don't otherwise see. Because the angelfish are like, give us more. Yeah. yeah, it's good for all of these really little fishies. Yeah, all the little quarries They're come out. They're loving it. Yeah. Well, should we have a look? I reckon salt water tank, because okay. that's really interesting. It's brand new, so it's pretty empty and it's just sort of cycling through with a couple of Easy corals and one little guy. <laughs> one little guy. <laughs> yeah. Just over there. It's a little um, so cute. coral goby. Aww. He's pretty cute. Uh, never played with salt water before, so. It's... Yeah, this is your first time. Yeah, so I'm just trying to get a sense of it because <laughs> it seems harder. And yeah. the guys at gallery were like, no, no, if you can do a planted tank, this will be easy, but so far, so not true. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty simple. There's three snails. A cool uh -huh. looking shrimp who never comes out. Oh, is a shrimp in here? Yeah, a peppermint shrimp, but yeah. he's always hidden. And then the little oh. goby. But yeah. What is this green thing? I don't know. I think I think it's some sort of algae that typically goes in refugiums, but it just came in the bag for something to the for the shrimp to hang on to. He's always got green a green belly, so I assume he's eating that. <laughs> And then next to it, you've got this nice little planted nano set up. Trying to have a go at, like, I guess an iwagumi, tiny little nano iwagumi. And what does that mean? That, I think, just means typically it's usually one or two sorts of, you know, plants that are always kind of carpeting, I think. Yes. I don't know that the, like, nature aquarium, <laughs> you know, definition of iwagumi. I think that's what I like, I think, because it's nice and plain, where it's just like one yeah, gardening plant. Yeah, I think in a small rock. tank it's cool because you can play with scale, <laughs> and it actually looks like a yes. little landscape. Yes, I love that. Yeah, and so it's a bit it's a bit over full at the minute, but the CPDs in there are just in there on holiday until I <laughs> make them a uh -huh. new and, and nicer tank because I pulled theirs down. Is that the fish? Yeah, those yeah. are the little little micro trout looking guys. Nice. Uh, it, they were breeding a lot for me when I was deliberately trying to breed them yonks ago. I gave up doing that because I couldn't be bothered. Now they're just living in retirement. <laughs> yeah, I love carpeting plants, but they're just really hard to keep. I've well, found. this is just um, Monte Carlo, the one in the front with the tiny leaves, and then dwarf hair grass at the back, which is looking a bit sick brown. But it's so easy, like that carpeted for me with one or two pots, in a matter of like a couple of months and I wasn't running any yeah. CO2 on it, just highlight. 
Really? No CO2? No CO2 initially. I've got one on there now just because it was, I've got all this algae issues. So I'm trying to kill that off with a bit of CO2, but it carpeted without it. Wow. I was impressed by it. It was easy. I think okay. it's just a matter of highlight. <clears throat> yeah. The Monte Carlo. I wasn't liquid fertilizing it. It's just planted into aqua soil. What light do you have on it? Chihiros. Uh -huh. What is it, like the WIGB oh, yes. Slim, I think? Uh -huh. So the, the step down from the fancy, fancy one, I guess. And do you have it on full intensity? Oh, nowhere near. Really? No, yeah, no. If okay. I, I did have, and it just grew algae. I don't know what intensity it's at, but it's it's on, you know, like a custom setting where I can play with the. I was trying to make the shrimp pop against the green. There's a mix of cori, pygmy corys and Corydoras hestatus, which are the guys with the little tail spot. I think they're so cute. So adorable. They're all yaffy in the corner. Yeah, they are. Cuties. Yeah, I love them. Well, well, there you go. So you can have this set up without CO2. Yep. yep. And, but you've got CO2 in there now. Yeah, just to yeah. try and fight the algae. Went away for work and I think the lights were on for too long. But it's, it's going away. Like the, the rocks were just green with hair algae mm -hmm. a week ago and now they're looking much better. I think the shrimp are helping. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so that's that little guy. Nice. He's fun. And then you've got another one above it too. Yeah, it's a, just a mess. <laughs> it looks nice. Oh, uh, it's just sad stem plants that I pulled out from a different tank. Yeah. Um, that I shut down, that I've just whacked in there the other day to let them sit in there and not in a bucket. <laughs> and there's just a sick, sad little better who's living out his final years or months. How old is he? Oh God, he must be like four, four or five years old. Oh my gosh. Or she, I should say. Oh, it's a girl. Yeah. She's Aww. cute, a little milky girl. But yeah, just a tiny little tank to play with. What light do you have on this one? Um, good question. It might even be a Chihiros one as well. It's not great, <laughs> but it works. Is there some more tanks? There is there? one further tank. It's one a mess, tank? but you can look at it. Let's check it out. Literally okay. just holding, um, everybody that doesn't have a place to be. Sounds and good. The plants that don't have a place to be. <laughs> oh, I just have to squeeze. <laughs> Lucky I've been dieting. Ooh. Oh yeah, is this a water box tank? Yeah, this is That's a water box. That's right. I forgot that you got the water box too. Can we? Um, I have a dog between my legs. Crappy everything in this tank and it's- Except for the tank. No, the tank itself is great. <laughs> it's just a mess. You'll see every bit of stuff in there is just, things I was struggling with algae or had nowhere to put and they went in here and they're not doing any better. And it's not great husbandry either. There's um, African cichlids, American cichlids, cherry barbs. <laughs> a bit of mix of everything. Yeah, it's a, um, you know, temporary holiday home for a lot of people. But yeah, there's, <laughs> these guys are great. I think they'll probably end up going up to my dad as well. They're the redhead tapahoes. South American cichlid, little geophagus Aww. cichlid. They're really pretty when you get them under light. And then obviously cherry barbs, nobody. Are these cherry barbs? <laughs> yeah. I really like them. They're, they're great because they're so colorful. So I think yeah. in the right scape, they, um, they really pop. But I think I'm gonna have to find another home for them. Are they unpopular fish? No, I don't think so. I think they're pretty, they're so hardy. Yeah. Um, I just don't have a, a good spot for them. I mean, they're happy in here, but ultimately, I'm not sure where they'll go. This guy's cute. He's alone, the little curbiceps. Oh. It's pretty as well. Man, I love water box tanks. Like, even though this tank isn't scaped how you want it to be scaped, it's, oh, it looks beautiful. It's, everything's like, just chucked in because there's just, no way to put it. <laughs> it just looks so nice. Like, I th it must be the glass and stuff on the water box tanks, I reckon. Yeah, I think. They're just neat. Yeah, they're just neat. They look clean and they look really high quality. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, yeah. It, you know, full of algae in there and it's pretty tannic. All the bulbatus is struggling a little bit. <laughs> What's the bulbatus? The bulbatus is this African fern. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then there's like a little colony of multifascia. Yeah, the surrounded <laughs> shellies in there. <laughs> and which that you know they should be in harder water and the Americans should be in softer water but I think the tap water here is fine and everyone's pretty well comfortable they're all tank raised tank bred yeah they just get a lonely little room honestly African cichlids like a lot of people keep them in ponds and stuff too and just keep them at a neutral pH 
Yeah, they seem happy. Pretty They're hardy. breeding in there, so they can't be too upset, I think. Yeah. Um, and that's just a, a fluval, is it an air? The light? Yeah. It's a... Uh, or sky. I think it's a sky. It's a sky. Yeah, it came with the tank. I just oh, yeah. bought it secondhand, that's what was on it. Yeah. It definitely needs more light. Um, but I kind of want to move this tank and that's going to be <laughs> a mission. Because <laughs> I think in here it's, I don't pay enough attention to it. The most I do is come in and water change it and scrape the algae off the glass. Feed the fish. Um, because it's, you know, just a holding tank, which is a disservice to the water box tank because it's so beautiful. Yes. And I kind of, I need to find some space and bribe my partner and put it in the living room. Yes, <laughs> yes. But I actually really like it here. Do you know what you're going to do with it? Oh, no idea. Okay, no, no idea. idea yet? Yeah, that's... You've had it for ages too. Yeah, I've had it for a while. It must be over. 18 months. It, yeah. At least. Let's look at the sump. I don't know why, I just like looking at sumps. Look at it. <laughs> it's um grubby. Again, they always are. <laughs> and so all the water, it comes down here from the tank and then it goes through here where we've got the... Yeah, those are the, like floss. where the filter socks would be and I've just got floss in those yeah, baskets. Yeah, it's a bit easier. Yeah. And then all the... And again, not so okay, much grubby floss. Bacteria area there and then it gets pumped back up and is that your um, ATO? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't hold much. That's the trouble with these, well, both tanks, like rimless and without a lid, but this one more so, just evaporates so fast. Yes, I it's think probably because this, this room's quite warm. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, even with the ATO, like I'm in here probably twice a week. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Topping it off, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm at that point where over summer, I reckon I'll probably end up with just a bit of core flute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just to stop it from evaporating. Yeah. Yeah. My one's got a feature on it too where it will beep if the water is too low, like if it's yeah. not refilling and it's so annoying. Yeah. I hate the beeping noise. I ignore it for so long. Yeah. I get up in the middle of because this is right in the bedroom. I get yes. up in the middle of the night and unplug it. And shut yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'll, I'll deal with you tomorrow. It's so annoying. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got two remainders down here. Yeah. That's just the nothing. I need to empty that laziness. This guy's just growing a couple of tiny little crypts that um, were so sad somewhere else and they're just, they melted and they're just coming back to life in there. But that's it. I know it's a lot less than- Way less than what you used to have. I, I told you I only had one good tank. No, they're all nice. <laughs> I couldn't even grow Val in my river tank. I somehow <laughs> messed up Val. I don't even know how. It's just- But I think sometimes, like, you know, you have luck in a certain tank and then other times for whatever reason, and I can't figure it out sometimes, it just doesn't work. Yes. Like this tank. Yeah. It gets all the same love and attention as the five foot, and yet, looks like shit. Or if you're me, plants will just never work. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> I, reckon, I reckon you could do it. You could do it. Are you planning to put any plants anywhere or? No. Okay. I just... Okay. <laughs> I, it's probably because I don't have like the drive to keep them alive but yeah fair enough well thank you so much for showing us your tank you're so welcome oh I'm not turning it around can wrap it up here and so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like let us know down below in the comments I have a dog <laughs> pulling my skirt right now <laughs> you can say oh no don't you um <laughs> can get 3,000 likes on this video then Maggie and I will make sure that we put the effort in yes. to go and do some fish catching videos so yeah. make sure you like the video oh, oh. Slip. Yep. make sure you like the video and leave a comment down below what Maggie should do with that tank yeah. and we will see you in the next video yeah. and if you're enjoying the content too don't forget to subscribe and you can hit that little bell icon to get notified each time I upload a new video so you don't miss any and you will probably want to do that because I'm going to be setting up my tank and Eakin tank yeah, very soon as well. Exciting. It's exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. No one has really seen it. Um, Maggie, I think you're the person and my mum who has seen the most sneak of it. Sneak peeks. So I've seen some yeah. sneak peeks um, but that's it so far but we're well on the way of getting that all set up and then I've almost finished uploading my US content so for those who don't know I did a little trip to America too and did some collaborations with so some other jealous. fish YouTubers and everything which was amazing <laughs> and I've got a little playlist list on my channel if you want to check that out too and I will see you in the next video bye bye